Hello. Welcome back to the training. Here, I get into some handstands. Had a little bit of trouble finding the balance here. And to be honest, I'm getting a little bored with the handstand. You'll see how I spice it up a little bit later here. So I give about two attempts. I'd like to get to about a minute hold, but I'd need to change it up a bit before I get back into that. So here I do a little bit different of a horse stance. This is a more of a meditative horse stance where you're just trying to build the body awareness, the proprioception throughout your entire body. I'm not going as wide, I'm not going as low, but I am just focusing on the sacrum, the first vertebrae on the bottom, the uh, first kundalini, I mean not kundalini, the first chakra, the, uh, the jungle bridge, that uh, lowest bottom part of your spine and pelvis. So that, that, that sacrum, the first vertebrae is where most of my breaths originate, where they should be originating from. I've heard of some methods where you focus on both ends of the spine and weaving them up and down simultaneously. But at the very least, you start from the lowest, deepest part. If you consider your brain the most shallow part and it goes deeper down to your spine. Because that's where your diaphragm is. That's where you fill. That's where you're filling. And here's what I was talking about. With uh, I, I just switched to like an air baby, two-handed air baby, uh, crow pose, just switching back and forth, just trying to build some easier balances. So I just switched the knees back and forth. I, I think I should be able to start walking around like this position. I've seen people do it. I've actually even done it before. So I'll just try to work on walking like I do in a hand, and maybe even transitioning from it to a, uh, a, a stabbed, an elbow lever position. So I get back into the bridge. I took a small hiatus because I was getting some back pain in the area that I stretch out, but I'm back at it. And look down at your belly button, get onto your heels, is really the only suggestion I can give. I did a push-up. I didn't want to push it too hard because I'll be doing this about every day. And when I exit the bridge here, I actually get into quite a dangerous position. I almost hurt myself. So watch, look at my feet. So one of my feet like twisted all the way in, which has never happened before. So I guess watch out how you exit. Don't just explode up like I do sometimes. And here I'm working on a uh, air chair balance. I'm not sure what the best way to do it. These are like one second holds, but I was able to do it one after the other. So I felt it was okay to do the way. So let's see, one, yeah, like one second holds, but these felt strong. I felt like I was able to control it which is the important part. And then I go into the uh, the double air chair position. It actually did kind of hurt just doing it. And I was not sure. And, and this was kind of a unusual pain. I did not know if it was a stretching pain and a, a slight discomfort or like an actual pain. So I'll tread lightly when I do this in the future. But if you made it this far, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe, share it, comment what you'd like me to talk about or what you'd like me to train. And I will work towards it. Thank you. Bye-bye.